Hi guys, it's Richard from Online Furniture in miserable Sydney. Miserable again. Can you believe it? Anyway, doesn't matter. Today I'm inside. I'm gonna hit the cricket. Today I'm gonna have a go at making a stencil for furniture. This should be a laugh. I'm all set up, I'm ready to go. I've got the products ready that I need. I haven't read any instructions, but I have watched YouTube videos. That's generally what works for me. Here I am in design space. I want to design something for the first time, guys, with you lot. So I've got the measurements that I need for the door and the drawers. I want to create a stencil, a removable stencil. So this is the home page. Featured images here. My projects, as you can see, there aren't any yet. So let's just have a quick look around top right corner new project that looks like it's quite large i'm going to reduce that see so down the bottom here at the moment it's 100 percent this is the canvas that you see when you click on a new project here you've got templates now these templates are just to guide you they actually don't print anything so for instance if you're going to print on an apron you can use that add that to your canvas and this will just guide you so you get the right size and things like that projects this will be none oh oh no these are examples of projects that you can save you see this little button here let me find one that i want to save oh elf door and wreath right so you just click on the little flag then and you can save it now these if you look at the top left of each of these they've got an a that's the access so this is available to those who have the access subscription which i think when i looked was 13.99 a month 30 day free trial so let's have a look these are basically projects that other people have done and when you save them you can get all of the files that you need and it will tell you actually let me have a look so when you click on it and then you scroll <coughs> excuse me when you scroll down so it gives you all it gives you the size of the project what you need and all the instructions that's really good and there's not too much instructions i can cope with that right let's have a look for a stencil for me so i'm going to go to images if i just type in i'll search stencil and see that's actually a thing so because these are actually marked as stencils you don't need to do anything with them you can print them as they are or cut them as they are you can also use a regular image but you would have to invert it so the cutout part would be inverted to what it actually is Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. Do you know what? I might just use that just on the draw on the door front. Oh, I really like that. See, there you got the lock. You click on that, it'll unlock it, and then that will allow you then to be able to manipulate it. So make it bigger. So I think we're good to start printing. So now I just need to click on make it up here in the top right. Now it's asking how will you load your all of your materials for this project without a mat? So the vinyl that I've got is this smart vinyl, which means that you don't have to attach it to a mat to go through the cricket right so it's beta one basic cut 
project copies up there so you can print multiple if you wanted to continue down here now it asks you what type you're going to use so or what type of material so smart iron or smart vinyl permanent or smart vinyl removable i'll be using the removable so now it just asks us for the to fill in more details so it's the pressure is default so I've already, because i've selected smart vinyl removable it's set that to default now we have to load tools and materials so no tool required in clamp a right clamp b load fine point blade in clamp b so it says to install the fine point into blade b which is here and it's already come with it so you open it and lift that out and there it is so don't need to do anything with that i literally haven't done anything to set this up to be honest and then press the load and unload button Press the go button. So as it's going through the cricket, it then comes out the other side. Now it says to please unload the mat by pressing the load and unload button again, which is there flashing. But I think I should probably cut this first. Do you know what? Let's just see. I'm not sure which way it will unload it, whether it's coming forward or back. So let's just see. There we are, forward. That was easy. And just to remind you guys, I literally haven't read anything, okay? So if you're a person like me that can't learn through reading instructions and a visual learner, don't be scared of this because I'm finding this really user-friendly. Final stage is to get the stencil carefully off the back in without ruining it. And to do that, we use transfer tape. So I'm taking the backing sheet off the tape. What this is going to do is attach the stencil to this. Then we can peel off the back of the stencil, leaving just the adhesive side. That's it. I have my first Cricut stencil. I'm not going to show you me applying it to the piece of furniture, but in the next video, you will see that. Thanks so much for sticking with me, guys. I really appreciate the support. Take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.